obviously gravitated towards surfing, skating, and then uh, slope style, and he's made the transition almost seamless. He seems to have looked for very clean maneuvers throughout. That's a pretty tough trick to aim correctly over on that Switch 270 and get to that rail. James was up and on. Back 270. So good. Off early on rail number one, but that 450 270 out is hot. Very clean and very smooth. Good landings overall. And just one of those guys who's taking his creativity to that upper section. One and two qualified third, so. Perspective 39.8. Headshot holds on to the third place position right now with a 39.8. But should he want to take the lead, which I'm sure he does, he'd have to better Slopey score 41.8. Oh, yeah. Strong force, you know it. <laughs> Eddie the Eagle has a skier from Britain spent so much airtime in the hills of Park City. <laughs> Interesting story, that one right there. Right side, 450, back 270 out. Certainly a highlight as well as this. The double cork right side, 1260, matching for a lot of what we've seen from some of our other athletes in the field, but down at the bottom. At switch 1080, starting backwards, landing backwards, three full spins, and the grab, such a necessary ingredient, and left something to be desired there in that final jump. So, a 35 not to be for James Woods. But the big question remains, can the local boy, Alex Slopey, hold on to the lead? Two more skiers have something to say about it. So here's a look at our final results for the men's slope style. Alex Slopey, the 18-year-old out of Park City, Utah, takes a massive win, followed by Sammy Carlson. And Russ Henshaw rounds out the top three.